Well, welcome back to another tier list. Today we are ranking more of my subscribers' loadouts. I did this video a few weeks ago, maybe maybe about a month or so ago, and uh, yeah, I said there'd be more, and here is more. Last year, I put out a tweet saying, send me your loadouts and I'll rank them. If you want to get involved when I do this again, follow me on Twitter, and let's jump into it. As you know, I'm a very fashionable man, so I feel I know what would make a good TF2 loadout, because you know, I am a fashionista. <laughs> Our first one is from Od Oddville. People just can't have normal names here, can they? But this is his spy loadout, or their spy loadout. They're rocking the mur- the, I think it's the murderer's motif, the reader's choice, and the assassin's attire. I actually quite like this loadout, how his weapons have funny names like, wait, he has a gun. But yeah, this, this loadout actually looks quite nice. I'm not sure about the murderer's motif and the reader's choice, but I do rate the reader's choice as a cosmetic. And yeah, it's, it's actually a pretty nice loadout. Not sure if it's Dapper Kadava level. I think it's I think it's Manko. You know what? Good loadout, Oddball. Even if your name isn't Oddball, it's Oddball. Uh, so this is the first of two loadouts we've got from Pyro Buddy. And this is their soldier loadout. I do like this quite a bit. The use of cosmetics work really well together. It's it's an Oni mask with the veteran's attire and the riot mask. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But I do think it's a very nice soldier loadout. Works really well. I think it probably works better in blue than it does red. Not too certain on that. But I like the loadout. It's very cool. It's going in Dapper Kadava for me. Just a very nice loadout that works well. It's not overly flashy or anything. You've done a good job there. And this is their second loadout. It is the Pi Bro. I, I'm guessing this is the Pi Bro part of the, the name. Uh, yeah, decent loadout. Reminds me of Orange Glazer with the burning beanie. But you've got a little engineer friend there as well. For that full Pi Bro aesthetic, I can only respect that. But as a loadout, it goes in hat wearing man. Personally, not for me. But hey, if you like it, good for you. And this is the first of two for Madame Hexus. Now it is a Femme Pyro, but I will not let that distract from the actual loadout because the actual loadout is still pretty cool. The Sub-Zero suit, the reindeer mask, and the reindeer beanie. So they're really going hard on that reindeer motif. I think it would be better without the beanie, personally. Not sure what cosmetic you could have otherwise, but I think just the reindeer mask and the Sub-Zero suit is, is, a, is a good loadout. They both work together sort of sort of arctic or cold themed so i think they work well together and the beanie kind of distracts from that especially when it's painted purple but still a decent loadout you know i'm gonna put that in here i do like the loadout but it's just the hat i'm putting in hat wearing man it's the reindeer beanie which drags it down a bit for me and this is their second loadout, another pyro. It's another pyro loadout, and this one is pretty dope. I, I gotta admit, this is a pretty cool pyro loadout. They got the Pyromancer's Mask with the Respectless Rubber Glove already. Two great cosmetics. And then the body cosmetic does kind of let it down a bit because it kind of feels out of place with the colours used on the head cosmetics, but still very nice. I think it works better than your other loadout you submitted. So that goes in man, go! And this is... Hi, yes, sir. Seriously, what is, it, what is it these people not having normal names? Um, but this is his demo man, and I can I can only respect this because he reminds me of someone who goes to a music festival, and I like it. <laughs> I I really like the loadout, and he's got the gamer juice as well. Very cool. You know what? You know what? Pi 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 yes, R. Your first loadout is getting a dapper guitar. Very nice. Looks like he's going to do some lines at a festival. <laughs> and this is his second loadout, or their second loadout, and it is a scout. I'm not really sure what's going on with this loadout. He's got the hot dogger. That hat, it's, it's, it, it looks nice when, when you know, combined with the cosmetics that suit the theme. This one, not so much. It's, it's going Gucci for me. It's not, it's not my favourite of your loadouts. I don't really rate it. And this is Space Vegemite's first loadout. It's a heavy, you know, just your your average nuke bristle cry. That's not bristle crisis, but your nuke and your hunter heavy. It's a it's a solid loadout, tried and tested. It's going in Manko. Plus the Aussie Tommy gun. Tommy gun? The Aussie Tommy Slav. 
good weapon. And here we have his second loadout, and it's this wonderful pyro looking fella. Wow, that's all I can say. Wow, it, it looks good. It looks good. You've got two solid mancos is there. You top, top, top loadouts. Not top, top, but still good loadouts, especially your pyro. I like your pyro more than your heavy, but they're both very nice. And here we have Anorak TF2 and their medic loadout. I'm not sure if this is all the cosmetics because I can only see the, is it the monarch? Medical monarch and the hat. But they are using a shotgun, which is which is pretty cool. And the, the, the poster you've got here is very cool as well. So just judging off what I can see, it's, an, it's a cool looking loadout. I think it works well together. Um, yeah, it's a very nice poster. And you've chosen cosmetics that work well together. That is also a Manco loadout. And here we have Frawny Kraz with their engineer loadout. It's just your average, well, I was going to say your average cowboy, but he's wearing a dogfighter. So maybe not your average cowboy, but these cosmetics all work really nicely together. Yeah, it's just a good, it's just a good loadout, really. Manco. Lovely stuff. And here we have Loz with this wonderful Demoman poster. Got a little yellowish theme going on here with the Manco cap, the summer shades and the scarf. Uh, is this a loadout that would make sense wearing a scarf with a cap and shades? Probably. It does get pretty pretty bright in winter, to be honest with you. Um, but I don't think this is Manco worthy. I think it's just hat wearing man, purely because you've concentrated your cosmetics up here. And I and personally, I prefer when you've got more of the body included. So I'm fine with the cap and the shades. That works. Yeah, mm, lovely. But the scarf, I think, kind of brings it down. If it was a body cosmetic or a leg cosmetic, it might go higher, depending on which cosmetic, obviously. Um, but it's a nice loadout nonetheless, and this poster is very cool as well. And this is Froggy Chair's first of two. This is their pyro loadout. Got a little floral theme going on with the flower crown. Oh, very nice. But my, my issue is <laughs> there's too many nice pyro cosmetics and only three slots, so I have to kind of limit myself. It's tough, man, because there are so many cool cosmetics I want to use, but the limitations of TF2 just says no, which is very unfortunate. But this loadout is it's, it's out, you know? You've got the flower crown, the hot case, and the backpack I can't remember the name of. The the flower crown and the Alola anodized flamethrower, they work well together, but I don't think this loadout works well together. I think it's either the backpack or the hot case need to change for a different cosmetic that more suits the, the the theme or the vibe of the pyro with the flower crown. So it's nice, but in in the loadout ranking, it's a hat wearing man loadout, I'm afraid. And here we have Froggy Chair's second loadout. It's this lovely looking sniper, very edgy looking fella, but I like it. And they're using the classic, which is a dub for me. They've got, what is it? The Star, not Stargazer, the, um, I can't remember the name of the arm and leg cosmetic, but I do have it. It's a nice cosmetic. Good body cosmetic as well. I like this sniper a lot and the mask gives him a little edgy touch but makes him feel like some sort of futuristic bounty hunter. Especially with the classic. So that's going in Manco for me. Plus the, the classic kind of looks like a, it could be a rifle anyway if you just shortened the barrel. So it works. And here we have I'm Derecho's first loadout. They've submitted two engineer loadouts. This is the first one. I think he looks pretty dope. Again, too much focus on the face. You are wearing the Pip-Boy though, so if you're going for some sort of Fallout themed loadout, you've done good. You've done very good. I think if we're taking it as a Fallout themed loadout, it still works well, but once again, there's too much focus on the face and not enough on the body. So it is a hat wearing man, but I do like it. I do like it. And then for their second loadout, it's more of a mad scientist type B, also wearing the Pip-Boy but with focus on the body. Yeah, I like this. This is a this is a Manco loadout, I think. Nice little crazy dude. And here we have Witless Connor's two loadouts, but we're doing it for the price of one. So um, yeah, this is gonna be a bit of an, awk bit of an awkward one. They've just merged these two of them just together. For the two for the price of one, this is gonna make it tough because the Pyro loadout looks a lot better than the Scout loadout, in my opinion. I'm not really fan of the Max's head, as it goes, it's, it's an alright cosmetic, not for me. Uh, I think if you'd got rid of that and put a different scout cosmetic on, it'd look a lot better. But as the two of these images, as the two of these loadouts stand, they're a combined Manco. I think if we split them up, 
the pyro would be dapper cadaver and the scout would be hat wearing man but the combination of the two just puts them in the middle so good job tama tama fucking hell tama go away i think that's how you say it we've got their pyro loadout, out which is a chef's hat a sight for sore eyes and the uh thingy the tricksters turnout gear lovely stuff it's a nice load out you've matched the white of the chef's hat with the white paint on the uh coat which i think looks very nice but something about the head just doesn't fit right for me it might be the sore eyes i'm not sure i like your i like i like your vision i like your vibe but i'm not really a fan of this loadout unfortunately it's how wearing man and then we have Shay or Medic Gaming's loadout right here. This is one. This is one of two Medic loadouts they've submitted. This is their first one. They've got what looks like an un unusual taunt, which is a bit of a flex. But they've just gone triple head unusuals. We know how I feel about triple head unusuals. You know, just I know you want to want to do that triple unusual meme, but come on, come on, do the body at least. I'm a fan of the blighted beak pickle hulb cosmetic combination i use it myself but i use the prussian pickle hub instead of the platinum one so you know those two cosmetics that's a head and a face that's fine but then use a face mask as well i don't i don't vibe with that you could use a nice body cosmetic like the scourge of the sky so for this one it's hat hat wearing man it's it's all right but you focus too much on the head and then we have this one which is quite uh, quite interesting two rings as far as i can see you can only see one of the rings so you could have, you know, changed one of those rings for <laughs> for a body cosmetic, maybe? <laughs> um, and they've got the unusual hat, I can't remember the name. Yeah. Uh, as as much as I can respect the rings have sentimental value to, to you, um, because they're given to, some, given to you by one of your friends or something, this is unfortunately Fortnite fashion show level. I hate to do it, but it's just two rings. You can only see one of the rings anyway, so you should have just won a body cosmetic. But hey, if you like it, you like it, you do you. And here we have Flog Champ. They've got an offensive pyro loadout and a combo pyro loadout. I do believe they're in order. Um, if not, who the fuck knows? <laughs> um, but for their offensive pyro loadout, they're called Flog Champ. Not even using the flog. What? What is this? What are you doing? What? Are, what are you doing? Um, they've got the Nappers Respite, the Wartime Warmth, and the Smithsmith Sweater. This is a very nice cold theme loadout i know you know i think that pyro looks very snug um yeah it's not bad at all really i don't really have much to say it's a nice loadout manco lovely and then this is the combo loadout i think it looks more offensive than the offensive loadout but you know what i like this one more they've got the oh wow they've <laughs> they've got it the, they've got the flamethrower named axe the flare gun named flamethrower which i guess it technically kind of is and then the axe named Gun. Okay, but we're, really we're not here to judge weapon names. We're here to judge what cosmetics they're wearing. And they've got the Airtight Arsonist, the Water Waders, and the Flavorful Baggies. And I think this loadout looks pretty dope. Personally, i change out the leg cosmetics because they're not for me. But they work well with the loadout. And I love the love the look of this sussy man. So that is getting Dapper Cadaver. Lovely stuff. Because we have SFM Joel. They've submitted two images, but they're both of the same loadout. And it's this very fancy looking medic. And apparently it's got a spell on it as well. But I don't, I don't, really, I don't really care because your loadout looks dope anyway. I mean, spelled weapons are dope, but you can't really see them in this picture. So, you know, the Blighted Beak. Um, I'm not sure what the, the other two cosmetics are because they've been renamed. But that doesn't matter because your loadout looks dope. Everything works well together. You've got a nice head cosmetic. You've got a face cosmetic. Those always work well with medic, especially using the, the beak. And then you've got a nice coat cosmetic. Ah, lovely stuff. Shay should be taking notes. This is, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful medic loadout. That goes in Dapper Cadaver, because I just I love the vibes. It looks so nice. Well done, Joel. Well done. And here we have name underscore. They, they've called it the Pyro Office Worker. It's two cosmetics. It's simple, but it's nice. It could definitely benefit from that third cosmetic. Maybe a different... Maybe a body cosmetic. Maybe a leg cosmetic. I'm not sure what would work well with this loadout. But I, it, it does look cool nonetheless. And you've only used two cosmetics. But you know what? That's a Manco loadout right there. Look at that. Yeah, 
You could change it. You could give him some some um, the professor specs maybe. But I think this loadout looks pretty nice, even though you you've only used two cosmetics. Very cool. This one is from Sunny or Doctor Stov, if we're going by their Twitter, at, and I think their loadout is very cool. Um, he's using the new is it the new Thai cosmetic with the uh, candy topper and whatever the clown mask thing is. I think it looks dope. This picture obviously helps it quite a lot, but it's a cool looking cosmetic and non cool looking loadout nonetheless. The poster's definitely helping it, or the uh, profile picture or whatever, it's definitely helping it. Mmm, Manco. It's, it's a cool loadout. It's, it's cool loadout. I can't take that from it. It's cool. But again, you're focused on the head a bit too much, but you know, doesn't doesn't look bad. Um, so this this is a loadout we we saw last time as well. But this is the time it's from Astartes, one of the mods on the Mercs Discord server. Uh, yeah, we we kind of saw this dead spaceman loadout last time, and I rated it highly then, and I rate it highly now. Very cool loadout. Yeah, I'd kind of be doing a disservice if I rated it lower than I did the other one because they're both dope. They're both practically the same loadout, so yeah, whatever I said, you know what, just roll what I said from the, the last video for this one, because it's cool. This iconic loadout, a lot of people have done it, but it doesn't stop it being any less cool. We've got the dead head, the space diver, and I think that's the, the head full of hot air, maybe? Could be wrong. Um, but yeah, he's a very cool, looks like a dead astronaut. I love it, very cool vibes. All right, so now we're here with windowed, windowed envelope. And oh my god, I just can't speak English. Windowed envelope. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this one's cool. I like it. Um, I I change out the tie for a different cosmetic, but that's my personal taste. Maybe the classified coif. But you've got a lo-fi long wave, and I'm jealous because I don't have one of those. Come on, Chris Cast. If you're watching this video, just just, just sprinkle spring, sprinkle a lo-fi long wave on me, please. <laughs> Uh, it's a cool cosmetic. Um, then you've got the public speaker, which works very well with the lo-fi long wave, actually. It's like you're broadcasting Critscast um, from your head. <laughs> very nice. But different body cosmetic would prop it up higher. But it's still still a Manco loadout because the choices still work well together. They still work well together. So you've done well. And our final loadout of the tweet and the final loadout for this loadout ranking is Funny Guy. Here's a he is a funny guy. And we've got this pyro load out right here. The uh, Street Fighter hair. Is it the burning question? I think it's the burning question. And then the uh, ski mask goggles thing. I don't know the names of these cosmetics. I do apologize. But this loadout does look cool. He looks ready for the slopes. Maybe the hair not so much. But he does look ready for the slopes. These cosmetics do work together. I think you've done a very good loadout. Funny guy. Or inverse fireman, if you're nearby your app. That is a Manco loadout. Lovely stuff. Uh, so this is the final loadout ranking for part two, or or just the next bit of my subscribers' loadouts. Yeah, we've had we've had some good loadouts. We had a lot more Dapakadavas this time than we did last time. But hey, I just split it down the middle in terms of seeing your tweet. So there's there's no no rapscallion stuff going on. I'm, I'm, I love. I really enjoy seeing what my subscribers' loadouts look like because you know TF2. There's a lot of possibilities. There's like this many possibilities. I'm not going to work it out. I'm just going to see if anyone on Reddit's done it for me. <laughs> I will do this again in the future. So follow me on Twitter if you want to stay up to date on when I do that. I'll pop another tweet out saying I'm going to do it, and then months later, <laughs> I might do it. Open over the giant tree. If you have enjoyed this video, leave a like. I'm sorry if I insulted your loadout in any way. But yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't pop, I just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.